feet and make some noise. Malachi Hood, um, just wanted to thank the coaches um, for everything they did for us and was happy I was able to be there for number 15. Uh, Jordan Anderson, I wanted to thank the coaches as well for the past four years at Julia Catholic Academy and um, carrying on and helping us get to the next level. Uh, hello, I'm Paul Ergusa. Uh, I want to thank the coaches and my teammates for uh, giving me a great experience here at JCN. Uh, hi, I'm Vinny Iannatone, and uh, you know, I'll lean off of what Paulie said that I really want to thank the coaches and my teammates for us and helping us being able to go undefeated and bring home 15. Uh, going off of what both of them said, I want to thank the coaches and the teammates for making our senior year unforgettable and going down to Wayne State. And I also want to thank the coaches and my teammates. It's awesome being back down at State. Go Hill. Hello, I'm Michael Rouse, and I'm thankful for my family.
as much credit as I could for that, all those accolades, but obviously it takes a village to get to this point. Um, I'd like to start with some thank yous. Uh, I'd like to thank my family. I know my parents are here today. Um, thank you for all your love and support over the years. Um, if you're ever near the south end zone at home games, you can probably hear my mom yelling at me or the referees. Um, never the never our players, though, always in support. And uh, if you ever feel the West bleachers shaking, it's usually from my dad's nervous twitch of shaking his legs um, during the game. But uh, they've always been there to support me and love me and um, help, help with my family uh, the long hours away from home. Um, so thank you very much to my parents. Um, to my family, my wife, um, who's at home today with my two youngest ones, uh, couldn't be here, um, but I thank her for her patience, um, her unconditional love, um, and again, um, allowing me to do um, what I do here. Um, to my kids, Jack, L, who are here today, um, two ones at home, um, they're these guys' biggest fans. Um, they're their biggest fans. Um, Love watching the games, love talking about the games afterwards, uh, talking about all the different players, um, and they just, uh, our players are great with them too. That's one of the things when you're away so much, uh, you know, being able to have them come to practices, come to games, um, and, and our kids are just awesome with them. Um, so it's a kudos again to our kids, um, but thank you to my family. Um, to Dr. Buds for allowing me this opportunity to lead this program, it's greatly appreciated. Um, to the faculty and staff here, um, second to none, um, the way that they go the extra mile to give our kids the best in the classroom, um, on the field, um, always there to support. Um, I know this year, this year and a half hasn't been easy um, for a lot of different reasons, but they're always there to go the extra mile. So thank you to the faculty and staff here at JCA. Uh, to the school community and the alumni, again, second to none. Um, it's not a coincidence why this program's had so much success over the years. Um, I think. Uh, one of the coolest things about practicing on Thanksgiving um, during state championship week, I think we had somebody uh, from every decade, uh, whether it was a fan, um, a parent, come to practice and, and show their support. Um, it's, it's, it's never, um, it, it's greatly appreciated. To the student body, the Hill Zone, the cheerleaders, thank you for always creating a, a wonderful atmosphere, uh, cheering on your classmates. That does not go unnoticed. To the families of the parents, thank you for entrusting us with your sons. Thank you for the sacrifices to send your sons to, to Joliet Catholic uh, for the late meals, the rides, um, the laundry, and most importantly, the unconditional love. Um, it does not go unnoticed and we're forever grateful for that. To my coaches, um, our athletic trainer, Saul Ramirez, um, it's been a grind, it really has since the summer of 2020. Our season in 2020 in the fall was suspended. Um, our practices went on. I think by the time spring ended, we had like over 150 practices and had only played six games. That's crazy. Um, and then to pick right back up again um, this summer. Uh, it's been a grind for our coaches that all have families at home, um, but we couldn't be here without them. So thank you to my coaches. Uh, they're great people, they're great coaches, but they're even better role models to our players. To our players. Uh, we've had a lot of good talks over the last few weeks. I uh, can't thank them enough for everything that they do. The way they carry themselves, the way they battle. It's been a long journey. It's been a long journey with a lot of ups and downs. That 20 and 0 sounds good. It sounds easy, but it's not. And it's a credit to their work ethic, their commitment, their dedication, their leadership to get us to the point we're at. In my mind, these guys were champions long before they hoisted that trophy on Friday night. Like Coach O'Brien said, you know, a lot of times people measure success with trophies, with wins, but that's not really what success is. Success is found in the preparation. It's found in the journey, the practices, battling adversity, the missed meals, late night homework, up early, the workouts, building relationships with your teammates, and learning to trust one another. Think about all that's happened in the last 18 months. COVID shutdown, how it affected everybody. Being in and out of school, 
having the season postponed, having a great team and not having the playoffs, it was difficult. But these men kept going. They kept fighting. What happened in the last couple of weeks in our school community, in the communities near us, and seeing the grief on these guys' faces, but then seeing them rally around each other to pick each other up when they were down, it's been simply amazing. That's success. That's success that's gonna last long after your football days are over. But I'll tell you what, that trophy looks pretty nice too, doesn't it? <laughs> We're damn proud of that too. I'm right, proud of the way these guys have matured, the way they came together as a team, and this trophy is just an exclamation point. Couldn't be more proud of these guys. Love these guys. I think it's awesome celebrating here today. But it's also bittersweet, like I said the last few days. It's bittersweet. I love celebrating this trophy. I love being here in this gym with our community, celebrating. But it'd be nice to put on those pads and head out to practice in about a half hour, wouldn't it, guys? <laughs> I know your bodies need rest, but that's you know that, that that's the best part. And that's why it's bittersweet. That today, our banquet tonight, is probably the last time we'll all be together as one team again. But you guys create a lot of memories for a lot of people. Something that you guys will have forever. Love you guys for that. Something that will never take away from it. You guys truly are the latest edition of the greatest tradition. Go help. For more information, please visit our website.